Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Wyatt's World Extra and welcome back to another list. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a list of 10 fictional characters out of TV shows, movies, video games who I absolutely cannot stand. I'm talking the 10 worst fictional characters I've encountered in my life. And I want to be honest here, a couple of these guys aren't exactly supposed to be uh, bad. <laughs> Anyway, before we start, you guys know the plugs. Don't forget to use code Wyatt's World on G Fuel or Prize Picks. G Fuel, you'll save a discount on any of their products. Prize Picks, you'll match up to $100 of your first deposit. But remember to always play responsibly, and let's get into the video. Alright, so first character on the list, we have none other than Gabe from The Office. I understand The Office is a comedy show, it's one of the greater comedy shows of all time, and I understand Gabe is simply a character, but I hate his character so much, I hate the person who plays him in real life. I feel like I may have mentioned him on this channel before, but he is literally the bane of my existence every time I watch that show. I get furious when I see him. He just reminds you so much of that fun sucking fucking loser that you would be around at your jobs or high school who would tell on anybody any chance they could. Like he's just the absolute worst. He's a prick. He's awkward. I cannot stand watching the episodes where he is featured for more than five minutes. All right, moving on, we have got Joffrey from Game of Thrones. This little son of a bitch, dude. I've only seen the first two seasons of it, maybe three. But I saw enough to see this guy and hate him enough to celebrate when he died. He's just a little kid, but he's a king, and he's a lying, evil, little, manipulative one at that. He has people executed. I'm pretty sure he has a dog killed. Every scene with him in Game of Thrones is made to make him look like the most unlikable little fucker that you have ever seen, and they exceed beyond expectation. Absolutely hated Joffrey. Now moving on, we've got Mace Windu, and I know I've talked about him before, but uh, yeah, I know, he's supposed to be a good guy. And I hate him arguably more than anybody in the entire Star Wars universe. You watch the first three movies, you are gonna see that this guy, this Jedi, this hero, is nothing but a jealous, power-hungry fucking loser who just could not handle the fact that Anakin was the chosen one. He couldn't deal with it, he wouldn't let Anakin come with on any of the adventures. Matter of fact, I single-handedly blame this stupid fucker for the reason Anakin turned. I was happy when he got his hand chopped off and thrown off a building. If he would have just been nice to Anakin, if he would have just embraced Anakin for what he was, yeah, we would have never gotten Star Wars the story, but a lot of people would have never died. Mace Windu sucks. Now moving on, we've actually got Dutch Vandalin out of Red Dead Redemption, well, one and two. Now I know, I voiced my opinion on Red Dead 2, I just talked about it last week, it's the most overrated game in the history of history, and I will stand by that until the end of time. But having forced to sit through that 60 hour second full time job, you're also forced to follow every order this dumbass gives you, dude. I hated him from the beginning of the game, he's so stupid, and he's always got a plan. Relocate, go into a town, have the entire town want to kill you, have a couple of your squad die, move to a new place and repeat until you ultimately go to Tahiti. Like this guy was such a brain dead stupid bastard from the start of the game, but he was so mortified to ever lose his title, his status, that he always had to make it seem like he was okay while dragging the entire gang down with him. Not to mention at the end he's just, I mean, flat out a piece of shit, which leads into Red Dead 1. But being forced to slave this guy for 60 hours of my life is something that I would never endure again. I hated him more than Micah, like he was awesome. Awful. Moving on, we got Draco Malfoy out of Harry Potter, and if you read the books, you really hate him. He's ten times worse in the books than he is in the movies, and in the movies, he's already a huge prick. And no, shockingly, this is not Tyler Blevins, who is ninja. They're, they're identical, but no. Dude, from the first movie until about the last half of the last one, you want him dead. You want him absolutely face down, on the ground, dead. He's a rich snob who's got power in the ministry because of his dad. They work directly under Vol. Voldemort. He snitches on Harry anytime Harry tries to do something good. He does whatever he can to get other people in trouble as often as he can. Like, he's just the miserable antagonist you find in every story, but magnified by about a hundred. But then it's weird because in like the last 30 minutes and you love him. But that, that we're not talking about that. We're talking about the Draco in the first 95% of the story. Absolute douchebag. 
Moving on, we got Teabag off of Prison Break. Yeah, uh, this was one of my first ever real hatreds of a fictional character. I remember watching this show in like middle school. This guy absolutely sucks. So Prison Break is about a guy who goes into prison to break his brother out before he gets executed because he's wrongly in prison there. Anyway, this guy Teabag, who is a child molester, ends up attaching himself to the group breaking out and basically threatens to tell on them unless they bring him with. And throughout the entire show, he, he is that character. Every time you think he's gone, no, he comes right back up at the most inconvenient time and he'll have power over the entire situation. Like, he was the absolute worst. I honestly want to say in the new season, like when they brought it back years later, he's a good-ish guy in it? I don't know, I haven't watched it, but that's what the commercials made it seem like, and I don't know how you can make a good-ish guy out of a child molester. Moving on, we've got JBL out of the WWE. If anybody remembers watching him in like the mid 2000s, he was always a heel wrestler, which means bad guy. And he was a little bit too good at his role. Like, I mean, I literally hated this man every time he walked on the television. I hated listening to him talk. I hated watching him wrestle. I hated seeing his face. I hated every bone of his body. He was just a fat, rich prick. Like that was his character. He would just brag about how much money he had and then go and call every town broke and worthless. Like I said, he was a character, but he exceeded his expectations on being a heel because every time I saw him, every ounce of my body filled up with the most passionate hate I could generate. JBL was an ass. Now we've got Miles Morales. Oh yeah, the Spider-Man, and I'm not kidding you. Keep in mind, I've never seen the movies. I've only ever played the games. But Insomniac could not have possibly made a Spider-Man into more of a whiny little bitch. I would mute the TV in Spider-Man 2 when I would have to play as him. I can't stand him. He cries about everything. No, mom, I don't like that. Finn, Finn. It's just him bitching. It's all he does is bitch. I hate him so much. Like I've never hated a good guy so fucking much. Superheroes are supposed to be badasses who break the rules when they have to. Not people who piss their pants and piss and moan and bitch and only do it because the real Spider-Man makes you. Miles Morales is garbage. Now moving on, we got Randall from Monsters, Inc. I've had beef with him since I've been like six. He's a dick. Like, he's an asshole. He's a manipulative little prick who doesn't care about anybody but himself and scaring children into their own deaths. Yeah, I saw in Monsters University, he might have been bullied and harassed a little bit, but that doesn't give you the excuse to turn into an asshole as an older adult. The guy actually invents a torture device to drain screams from people to power the city. Like, what, what, what is wrong with you? You're supposed to scare kids when they're sleeping, man. Just like a little boo, not torture. Torturing people, what a menace. And ending the list, we have got Dolores Umbridge out of Harry Potter, and I left her for last for a reason. I have such a powerful disdain for this character. Such a, a disgusting disdain. I fantasize about me being in the magical world of Hogwarts and being able to just give her the Avada Kedavra. I would have risked my entire life. I would have sent myself to Azkaban just to blow her to bits. In the fifth book, she is sent from the Ministry to be a teacher slash spy at Hogwarts, where she is basically given unlimited power power, which she uses to torture students and all of Hogwarts. She has the worst little voice to him, him. the little contradicting smile she's always playing. Whoever played her could not have played her more evil, and honestly, the character, if you read the books, much like Malfoy, you will hate her even more. Like, if you've never seen these movies, just imagine the biggest Karen you've ever met in your life. Now imagine her mom, and then her mom on top of that. Like, she is three generations worth of Karen. I still wish to this day Harry would have just blasted her. And that is gonna be all, ladies and gentlemen, for my top 10 most hated fictional characters of all time. Let me know some people who were not on the list that you also hate. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, you already know what to do to show support. I appreciate any and all help. However, in the meantime, I'm gonna get it edited so you guys can watch it on time. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and as always, I will see you in the next upload.